All right, Kevin Durant uh, really benefited from the Brooklyn Nets clinching the playoff berth yesterday. Um, they clinched one. Also, Orlando clinched. So let's talk about how you benefited. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And you had to understand that the East only had, I think, nine teams that was uh, vying for a playoff spot. And that kind of went past, past me for a minute. I said, dang, how Brooklyn, you know, clinch? You know, they ain't got nobody. You know, everybody gone. Kyrie, KD. DeAndre Jordan, they out there with Karis Avert, who plays some days, who don't, but go blue. Um, but they clinched, you know, because it was only nine teams vying for eight for eight spots. And the Wizards, you know, with the Wizards losing yesterday, Orlando clinched, and then Brooklyn beat somebody yesterday, and then they clinched. So um, the Wizards weren't going to make it. No Bill, no Wall, you know, it was a wrap. So basically Brooklyn backs in, and now Kevin Durant cashes in on a bonus of a million dollars. He was uh, promised – or it was an incentive in his contract if the Brooklyn Nets make the playoffs, he gets a million dollar bonus. So that adds to a thirty seven point two million salary for this year, which he didn't even take a dribble on the court in their live game. Plus he gets an additional million dollar bonus. So, you know, that's what happens when, you know, you won the last two what, the NBA Finals MVPs, I mean before last year, and the injuries happened and, you know, Brooklyn really wanted him. Wherever he went, he probably was gonna get that deal. You know what I'm saying? So that's crazy that, you know, he still, you know, benefit off of the Brooklyn Nets making the playoffs and he ain't took a dribble. And that's just one of the other reasons that the NBA is contracts are better than the NFL. Only thing that's tougher to deal with is making it to the NBA. It's easier to make it to the NFL, trust me. You know, it's 55 men on the roster. Um, you should be able to make it, plus 12 on practice squad, I believe. But the only bad thing about it is if you miss at the NFL, Ain't no good backup leagues. You know, CFL Arena, they make no money. In the NBA, if you miss the NBA, you're going to make a good living in China, in Israel. You can make millions in the Dominican Republic. You can make millions wherever. You know what I'm saying? They no longer have the CBA in America. Um, but you can still make good money. You know what I'm saying? But also, on the flip side with the National Football League, you should be in school for three years. You should be able to get a degree and still be able to make good money you know, based off your major. So that's why it's always important not to go for child development and some easy stuff. You put your eggs in one basket in the NFL, you're still getting a good education. It's rare that you see NBA players do two or three years in college anymore, so or three or four years in college anymore. But, you know, for Kevin Durant, he making the bread, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he benefited from Brooklyn getting in, and Brooklyn had a great chance to get in because the Wizards didn't have nobody. All they had to do was win a couple games, and they backed into the playoffs, so... It's basically down to seeding for them in Orlando. Uh, the number one seed is Milwaukee. They either play Milwaukee or, I guess, Toronto with the two seed, I believe it is, or Boston or somebody in there. So we'll see how it boils down. But for Kevin Durant, it got to feel good to add an extra million to your bank account. And you ain't even took a dribble this year. So he didn't almost made $40 million this year and not take a dribble. Now, do we know if Kevin Durant going to come back from this injury? We don't know. You know, I think it's going to be a lot different about him. I don't think he's going to be taking people off the dribble no more. I think he's going to be on this Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett. I think when I say Kevin Garnett, he's going to play a lot from the, the post, a lot from the high post and facilitate with, you know, facing up. And also when I talk about Paul Pierce, I think he's going to be more craftier than athletic. You know, a lot of people say, well, KG, KD really wasn't no athletic type of guy. But you remember he injured himself in Toronto when he was taking somebody off the dribble. KD took people off the dribble. You know, he did his step backs and stuff of that nature. And that Achilles may not allow him to do that. One of the great bounce back stories about blowing out Achilles was Dominique Wilkins. He came back, you know, early 90s and still dominated late in his career. So um, a lot of people think Kevin, Gar Kevin Durant won't have the same, you know, success he did. He won't be able to play 82 games in 40 plus minutes. But who doing that? You know, not, it's the, it's the uh, era of, uh, of uh, you know, low management. And Greg Popovich started that. LeBron popularized it in. Kawhi get trashed for it, which don't make no sense. But, you know, for KG, KD, excuse me, uh, we'll see what he come back next year like. But right now he's $40 million richer. Setting the bar pretty high next year, Kyrie and KD, KD really, really high. Because if y'all don't make the playoffs next year, they did it without y'all. And I say that jokingly. And also some rumors about him working out, them working out Kyrie and KD with Blake Griffin. And Blake Griffin could get amnesty from the Detroit Pistons if the new CBA law was so you can see KD, Kyrie, and Blake Griffin, which I don't know how that's really going to work. I think they'll retain the services of Deion Jordan if his contract is up. And obviously, you know, Jared Allen, they got a nice center there, but what is he doing in the offseason? He's still weak. He need to put some weight on, bro. Like, like he, he need to get in the weight room, seriously. 
You know, I know a lot of NBA players don't like to go in the weight room because they don't want to mess up their shot, but that nigga ain't got no shot. You know, until until they get more girth on the inside, you know, to go with Deion Jordan, Deion, DeAndre Jordan, you know, if Jared Allen going to beat her in the middle, he got to get stronger. But, you know, we'll see what they do. So, you know, you can see Blake sign for the veteran men room after he get amnesty because when you amnesty somebody, the, the Detroit Pistons or the team that amnesty you, they still have to give you um, – your full salary just doesn't count against the cap. So Blake can still get his money, and he'll be trying to, you know, latch on somewhere to get a championship. So the new, if the new CBA includes an amnesty, which the old one did, which did the collective bargain agreement will be, you know, negotiated, you know, after the, the restart or re, re, remake system uh, season go on, if they allow amnesty, you're able to cut one contract off your, uh, off your uh, salary cap, and basically you still pay that money out. But it doesn't count against the cap. So I'm going to see what Brooklyn got shaking. I know you're looking for a third wheel. They could add Blake on there for the veterans minimum with Swing and Bradley Bill. That'd be nice. So I think they're going to be looking to package Karis Avert and Spencer Didwitty and maybe a few other pieces somewhere to bring in a third star. And if they could do Kyrie, KD, let's just say Bradley Bill, for example, and they could do Blake Griffin, maybe they can do something out east. But hey, we'll see what happens. Uh, don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, video request, all my social media links in the description. Other than that, man, Facebook group link there as well. Want to make a donation, CJ Good 313. Um, it's the Cash App, PayPal link in the description, Cash App username in the description if you missed it. But hey, best way to donate is to share the video. Make sure you subscribe, bell icon button so you don't miss the, uh, another video live stream. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We gone.